Hey guys, Firm here, and today I'm going to be explaining why I believe the Rimax C2 Godly Beast Special Event was, overall, a lot better than the Jesco Special Event and a pretty successful event overall. Some of you may be thinking that I'm a bit biased because I am sort of associated with the Rimac event, with the mangas and all and stuff like that, but I can assure you that I would say the same things about it if it had nothing to do with me. Here you can see that I have 100% completed the event, getting all possible syndicate points, rewards, and syndicate coins. Here you can see my progress with each of the cars in the event. I 3 star each one, 4 starring the Furai, and almost 4 starring the ZR1, all after only spending 5,000 tokens on the event. Much better than the Jesco event, where I spent 15,000 tokens on it and did not even get to unlock the Jesco. So let's get right into it. When the Godly Beasts event began, everyone was hoping that Gameloft had listened to the widespread criticism of the Jesco event and taken it into account to make something much better. A couple people at Gameloft had also said that it was going to be a better event, so I remained optimistic. Something odd happened close to the beginning of the event that I am still not quite sure the reason behind. A three-star Mazda Furai was required very close to the start of the event, and we were not given enough Syndicate coins in the event to do so. You had to buy the first two Syndicate coin relay packs for 500 and 1000 tokens respectively and then you could continue on with the event as usual. What I'm confused about is why this small paywall so early? It's not bad at all, but it deterred some people from continuing on because they probably thought the rest of the event was going to be this way. After this, however, the event became actually fairly easy to progress in. As long as you could keep up from day to day with the main missions, you could unlock and 3-star the Shelby GR1 and a Tau Design ZR Uno without much of a problem. After I unlocked the ZR1, I went back and played through the pin missions so that I could 3-star it, and then I won and 2-starred my Rimac. This was all just with the syndicate coins they gave us in the event. When I reached the final section, Regnant Octopus 4, I had done all of the pinned missions and still needed to do the three star upgrades on my Rimac, which is what was required to do Regnant Octopus 4 hazard level three races. So I purchased the last two relay packs, bringing my total spending to 5,000 tokens. This equates to approximately 170 US dollars, which is a lot better than the $700 worth of tokens necessary to just unlock the Jesco. I do want to mention that I did pay for quite a few hazard refills throughout the course of the event to be more convenient timing for me to do races, but you don't have to do that in order to make it through. With the Syndicate coins from those packs, I finished 3-star upgrading my Rimac and I was good to go, got the car, and completed the event with about 17 days to spare if I remember correctly. Funny thing is, that was actually kind of a close call toward the end because I only had about 2,000 give or take a bit syndicate coins left after paying for those Rimac upgrades. Some people got a bit worse luck than me and had to grind the hazard level 2 races in Regnant Octopus 4, I think it was, in order to either pay for 3 star upgrades or make it all the way through Regnant Octopus 4 that way and just unlock the car at 2 stars. Yes, this event was rather grindy. It took a lot of time and playing the same races repeatedly, which granted could get a bit old. It did a little bit for me, but it was slightly more skill based due to having harder race times to beat and it required far, far less tokens than the Jesco event. I feel like it struck a decent middle ground between time spent, skill requirement, and token use with a lean towards time spent. The good thing is, the event took place during a lot of people's winter holidays, including mine, so we had more time that we could put towards the event. But just think about this for a second. After spending 5,000 tokens, we got not one, not two, but five three-star cards, two of which are basically kings of their classes, the Rimac in S and the Furai in D. Yes, I know they aren't the absolute top cars in these classes. The Jesco is better than the Rimac and the TVR Griffith is better than the Furai on a lot of tracks, but I would still consider these two to be kings. And the GR1 and ZR1 are pretty high in their classes as well. Only the Atal design was kind of a letdown, being slightly worse than the 488 GTB in B class. What do you normally get for 5,000 tokens in Asphalt 9? Well, let's say you wanted to buy some of the 750 token 10 times packs for a regular car. You could buy seven of them for 5,250 tokens, and at an average of six blueprints per pack, you could expect around 42 blueprints out of those seven times. Many A and S class cars require 50 or 60 blueprints 
entrance to even unlock. So you could spend that much and not even unlock the car that you're going for. But in this event, you're getting five three-star cars with the same number of tokens spent. If that's not actually somewhat generous of Gameloft, I don't know what is. Now, I did have a couple of minor issues with the event, you might say. Only one hazard level refilled every 10 minutes instead of every five, like with the Jesco, meaning you had to wait twice as long in order to play a race. Hazard 1 and 2 races didn't give nearly as many Syndicate points as level 3, although given that they were generally easier and didn't require as high level of cars, I can kind of understand that one. Finally, if you went through all the relay packs, you couldn't actually buy any more Syndicate coins with tokens like you could in the Jesco event, but with real money only now at this point. This was kind of a bummer for me because I was only nine blueprints away from four starring my ZR1 and I would have happily spent a bit more tokens in order to star it up. So these have been my thoughts about the Rimax C2 Godly Beast Syndicate event. While the event has been rather grindy, the Rimax was much cheaper overall than the Jesco and easier to obtain for most people, along with the other four cars that we got along the way. Of course, there are many things that can still be improved for future Syndicate events, but this one was a big step in the right direction in my opinion, and I am hopeful that the Tech Rules 1890 Syndicate event will be just as good, or perhaps even better, only time will tell. Thank you all so much for watching, and let me know what you think of the new webcam, and I got a lapel mic, so I don't have to have these big headphones on every time I do a just talking video, I think it's kind of nice. So yeah, let me know what you think about those. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for Asphalt and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.